The Asenville battery of the village Asenville was compromised of four 105mm guns protected by casemates camouflaged as ordinary dwellings, two on either side of a country lane. There were also shelters and ammunition bunkers. The various buildings were linked together by a network of underground passages. During the night of the 5th and 6th of June 1944, the Asenville battery came under heavy attack from American paratroopers. The battery was so heavily defended that the Americans did not accomplish the taking of the battery and had to withdraw. In the morning, the battery was able to join the action against the landings on Utah Beach. Its action significantly held up the Allied forces who ended up having to pass around the battery. The position finally fell on the 9th of June after intense fighting and several counter-attacks. It's been two days since the landings and the battery is still harassing the beaches. We need to eliminate those guns. So here we are ready to try and occupy Asville gun battery. And before we actually move up, let's just have a quick look and the overview of what we're actually going to be attacking here. We need to clear the AA guns, should I say, the uh, artillery pieces for the guys, the rest of the Marines coming up on the beach. So as we come down here, we've got all these little bunkers in here. Again, we don't know what's in here. There's probably going to be some German M MG42s. We've got this long trench line that seems to cover this entire area around here. This really is a large area and it comes all the way back up here through the fields. Trenches all the way along this south side. As we come further down, we've got some little, little innocent little villages down here with putting the washing out here in Normandy. And as we come down, we've got lots of tank traps. There's something major here by the looks of it this compound and uh, there's probably going to be an emplacement on top there and there's actually a second entire complex over here with a second one there something you know, it's almost like a fortress and obviously the allies have bombed this or something has come down here into this area can't quite make out what that is so yes interesting tank traps so we can possibly get the uh, Sherman through there and we may bring some infantry up on this side. I'm going to try and do about 20 minutes of this. Uh, I'm not sure, is this a minefield? Yes, that is a minefield, so we're not going to be going through there. Uh, but we will be using these hedgerows quite a lot. So before we go up, let's just have a look at some of our assets. We have this beautifully modelled M4 Sherman. And this thing is loud. Believe you me, I've had to turn the volume down on here. And just incidentally, before we start this mission, I am actually running a realism mod. So the vehicle damage and the vehicle speeds are realistic on this. It makes it a little bit harder. But hey ho, realism is what we want. So we've got two Shermans. Uh, we've also got various rifle squads down here. And as we come down and have a look at these guys, these guys look like they're rocking with Thompsons. We've got a couple of grease guns in there and some M1 Grands. Uh, what have we got over here? M1 Grands, small little fire team there, and I do believe we've got a bazooka team as well down here. We've got some bazookas, and we've also got some mortars down at the far end, and we also have a wet willy here, and a half track. So what I think we will do to start off with is we'll get some of these guys ready. in the half track ready to go, and we shall move up, up one of the rifle squads up to the front here just to give us a little bit of eyes on. I want you in that hedge line, double time, move it up. Give us a little bit of recon. And I think what we may do as well is we may move the Sherman up straight away. There are some little breaks in the hedge row here. Um, and what have we got here? What have you got? Where's you're a rifleman as well. Looks like we're actually kicking off. So without further ado, guys, I want the infantry up to the hedge line. Double t double time up to the hedge line. Go, go, go. And we'll sort out a plan once we get up there. Uh, bazooka team, yeah, you move up as well. Uh, rest of the infantry, again, move up to this position. Half track, let's get you up. Infantry, move up to that position. Sherman, be very careful from this side because we haven't actually cleared it. So I'm actually going to bring this Sherman up here to this position. Beautiful Sherman, absolutely beautifully modelled. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to let that Sherman move up. I'm going to move the other Sherman, actually, with... I've got a 50 cal here. I want you to cover that field so we don't get flanked. And I want the other Sherman, I want you down here along this hedgerow. 
until we can get some recon down at that bottom end. Half track move up here. Sherman, move to that position. And you're going to help to... In fact, Sherman, move to this position and we're going to help take out that bunker. So as the Sherman moves down here, we're going to get the rest of our infantry up again. Up to the hedgerow. Move up, guys. What have we got down here? What have you got? M1 Carbine. Yeah, you move up. I thought we had the bar gunner. Actually, we have a mortar team here. I want you up here as well. I'm going to wait up for the Sherman. It's making its way across that field. Gunner is covering there. Right, Sherman, I want you to... I want you to get eyes on. I want you to stop. Rotate to this position so if there is anything in there, we've got the front armor on and we're going to take out. We need to put some fire in there. In fact, put some uh, Hitchy into that bunker. And I've just killed my own men. Brilliant start. That's what I wanted. Get some 50 in there. Right, infantry. In there, double time. Move, move, move. Half track. Cover that position before we move in. You guys, I want you to cover that field and I want you to cover that position. On your belt buckles, go. So we have actually got fire coming in here. Gonna move the Sherman up and just put a little bit of fire down in this position and then we shall move over and start concentrating on this side here. So I'm gonna take control of the Sherman now. So bring it round. A little bit out of range actually. That is what we are going to be attacking. Move the Sherman up to this position. Infantry, I want you belt buckles. I want you actually to get some smoke out into this field here. And I want you to get in this little defilade here. Plenty of smoke out, guys. Oi. This is no, this is no time for medals. Not yet, lad. Right, let that smoke move up and we shall sort these out. Right, double time in there. Move, guys. That's it, that's moving up. Belt buckles, guys, belt buckles. Get down on your belt buckles. Move to that position. Sherman, can we get any fire down on that position? Okay, Sherman, get up there. Don't run over the lads. How are we doing on this side? I want you to move up here. You guys, replace them here. You guys, I do not want you out in the open. Get yourselves in that bunker. Sherman, I need some fire on this bunker. Ah, oh, we might have actually hit an ammo dump there. That's nice. And I'm going to get some 50 down there. And if we can get another round down there. We should leave you to take that. That's impervious to small arms. Whoa, whoa, the fuck! Where the fuck did that come? There must be some AT down at this position. Right, guys, I need you to get into this position double time. Double time. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. I want a grenade over that hedge line. Do it. There is a minefield here, so we're going to have to be careful here. Right, guys, and I want you here. Second Sherman. Second Sherman, I need you to take out this position here. Infantry. You just smoke the road. And we're going to run across. Up, I don't know where the 
fuck you think you're going? Get back here. Smoke the fucking road. Alright, so they're already smoked. Straight over in that bunker. Guys, over. Cross. Straight over. You guys replace them. Move down here. Sherman, can you get any fire down there? It could possibly be too far for the... Uh, I think it's going to be too far. Move down, move down, move down. Got to be careful here. That other gun doesn't actually take us out here. This is very, very dangerous, but I want to take out what's in that bunker. Apparently, we just don't have the range. Shaman down here. I'm going to move this infantry up now. Up. To this position, and let's just get eyes on on what's actually over in this field. Back Sherman. Let's get the Sherman over. I want you to cover the infantry over here. You guys, I want you over here in this hedgerow. I want you crouched. I want you to move this position here. Back belt buckles. Move up to that position. German, watch it! I'm gonna get some, see if I can get some fire down in here before the infantry actually start to move up. It's just out of range. Out of range, move up. I don't want to come through this field here because I don't know what's actually in here. And there is something of there is something in there, as we can see. Maybe we could bring the actual mortar team up. Mortars. Come forward. I'm just going to be able to just about see through here with the, with the Sherman. It's going to give us direct access to one of the batteries there. And it looks like he's already done it. That's nice, nice, nice. And we also need to take this one out on this side as well. Got to be careful because I do not know what is up here. And some of the infantry is actually taking casualties here. Orders. Belt buckles. Keep moving, keep moving. Just hold the infantry here for now. Sherman, I want you to come back to this position and give these guys cover down this main road. Let's have a look what's happening on this side. I think we may get the half track further up into the field. You guys, double time it. Yeah. Double time it. What do you need? All of you, up there. Right, it's time to start moving this infantry up. Infantry, move to that position. We're going to move up the rest of the rifle squad up. Listen up people. You guys are going to start clearing this left-hand side. Half track is going to support you on this left hand side as we come round, or maybe we can do some sort of pincer maneuvement as we get up to the top. Let's just have a look at what's happening down here. Got to be careful with the Sherman. Sherman, move up and protect that infantry down there. Mortar team. Mortar team, move here. Mortar team, I want you to start attacking this position. pushing belt buckles guys move up Sherman move here guys have you got any smoke I want smoke out Sherman take care of that come on come on come on Get some 50 cal down there, and I can see there's also enemies at that far end there. So I'm going to leave the Sherman at this position, actually. Keep suppressing. 
see we've got enemies here as well. I could do with the Sherman to take those guys out. Let's see the barrels coming round. Have we got any HE left? move around I should be able to take out that gun position there let's whip the hitchy to load leave that there infantry double time right the rest of this infantry on this side I'm actually going to get you guys to come here we're not going to be running across that field. I think that's just going to be a, a death trap. And I want you here as well. Shit, we've got grenades galore here. Grenade in that bunker. Oh, double time. Shit, 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 shit. We need the, we need the Sherman up here, actually, or the artillery. I want more infantry here. Move up. Sherman, move. Need you to help the infantry. Don't want the Sherman to go any further than that hedgerow. Smoke it. Smoke it and move. Sit the Sherman's moved up. Let's go. You hold position. Oh shit. Sherman, stop. Need the Sherman to take that gun position out quickly. Not sure whether we actually got it there. Shit. Shit, the Sherman is damaged. I'm gonna have to get that repaired. Infantry, move up. Quickly, double time, double time, come on. Fuck, we've lost the Sherman, and we're losing the fucking infantry as well. Get across that barbed wire, quick, 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 quick. Shit, this is gonna shit in it. Get a fucking, get an AT grenade in there. Let's take this bunker. Chop the grenade. Fucking hell. Airborne, want you in that trench. Now. Double time. Move, 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 move. Go, go, go. Airborne, in that trench. Double time. Fuck. I need you here. That MG42 up there is just gonna. Oh, this is all gone to shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Guys, we are going to need you big time. And that is actually not cleared. Infantry, straight across there. Half track, cover them from that side. And I want you to take out, your job is to take out the MG42 at that position. As you can see, I'm doing terribly here. I really do love this game. It is fantastic. And there are mods to bring it up to modern day, and I will be doing some more on this game. It really is a brilliant strategy game. In fact, I'll probably be doing some co-op with a couple of my friends, Red and Stu. Actually, is that half-track completely fucked? Yes, it is absolutely fucked. Right. You guys move up here. Get in there. Deal with that MG42. Deal with it. Take him out. Come on, guys. Do it. There we go. Work quite in there. You lot, move. Really, I could do with the mortars now. Half track. Can we get you over here at this position? Straight across the field. Do not get stuck in that trench. 
What have they got? Is that a stug? Fuck. Fat guys. Out here. Get out here. Get out here. Tell me you've got an anti tank grenade on you. Yes, you have. Take that out. Move. Of course, the Stug doesn't actually have a turret. Shit. It's not actually taking it completely out. Has nobody else here got an anti tank grenade? You are kidding me. Well, that's just fucking brilliant. We're not going to be able to deal with that. Any of you guys got an aid? No, you haven't either. Right, guys, get in the trenches. There's nothing we can do at this point. Half track is damaged. This is going shit in a teacup. We are in big trouble here. Fuck, we need to move. What the fuck is it that's taking us out here? As you can see, this is not easy, and this is not even on the hardest of difficulty. Maybe I'm not the just the, I'm not the best strategist. That's probably what it is. Got all these infantry on this side who are absolutely busting to be getting out there. Running across that open field is going to be the worst idea ever, para. So that's why I'm sending one guy straight across. In fact, it looks like it, so we may have actually killed most of the enemy on that side. The fact that we lost the Sherman so early, both the Shermans so early in the game, is really going to be an absolute detriment to my ability to be able to do this now. Um, there is actually a weapon in there as well. How do we actually get in that bunker on this side? So we can take that out. I'm wondering whether we could actually use that to take out the vehicle up there. If we can get rid of them in there, do we have the ability to be able to... Jesus. I was wondering whether we'd be able to use that gun to actually take out the stug, but possibly not at this stage. Come on, guys. I want you to get in there, get all the... Kill the Germans and take hold of that gun. I think they've done it. Can we get on it? That is the question. And it looks like we can't. I was going to use that to take out the stug. But what I might do is I'm going to leave that because that was an absolute disaster. But this game is so addictive. It's fantastic. I love this game. If you love strategy games, think of this as being like the company of heroes. This is like the armor version of RTS compared to, say, uh, Come of Heroes, which is a little bit more arcadey. This is definitely a lot harder. And I've got a lot to learn. There'll be a lot of people out there playing these games going, calling me a fucking noob and that. But, you know, you, you, learn, <laughs> you learn by playing. And that's what's brilliant about this game. Anyway, I've been part of players failing miserably to take the offshore battery here at Normandy. Great respect to those who actually fought and did this in real life. I salute every single one of you in every capacity. I've been Para Players. And this has been Normandy 1944. Bye bye.